Hi and welcome to the screencast. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this particular screencast I will show you that how you can use the IR tool which is kind of like an interactive Ruby console to communicate with the .NET assemblies. Okay. Now if you haven't seen the first screencast I highly recommend that you do so because in the first screencast we downloaded, we installed and we also configured Iron Ruby to run on your machine. There's some uh, special configurations that you need to do in your environment variables so that you can use those particular libraries easily. Okay, if you haven't done that, go to highoncoding.com. It's the latest video. It's called right over here. It's called downloading and installing Iron Ruby. Do check it out first. Okay, so let's go over here. Now I'm going to say IR and I'm going to jump into this uh, interactive console or Iron Ruby console. If you type something like 2 plus 2 over here, it will give you the answer, which is like 4. And you will actually know that this is now interacting with the Ruby, Iron Ruby. So now I can say require and I can say what kind of thing that I'm looking at. So I'm saying system.windows.forms. Oh, I'm sorry. So And it has to be inside this. Okay, so true, which means actually the setup has been done. Now, I need to also include the namespace, so I can say include. This is because I'm including the namespace so that I don't have to... Uh, ah, uh, so that I don't have to use that particular words again and again. Okay, so now we have it and uh, it's been created. So now if, if you haven't used this include the namespace, then you have to dump the whole namespace name if you want to initialize the form object, but now you don't have to. So I can say over here form equal to form, which is a window form, and you can also use WPF or anything that you like. Okay, and I can say form dot uh, show dialog. And if you can see over here, it's a dialog that just popped in. Okay, so I'm interacting with the system.windows.forms, uh, the, the library, and I'm pretty much like doing some form manipulation. I'm just putting out the form on the page. So if I want to do some other stuff, like I can say button equal to button.new. Now remember, if I haven't done this include, then I had to type system colon colon windows colon colon button I have to type the whole thing but since I have done the include over here I will only type button button.new will give me a new button and since it's interactive once the object is created it tells you what is going on and then I can say button.text equal to hello iron ruby so I have uh, just uh, set some text on the button. So now the next task I can do is I can say form dot controls dot add, and I can say over here button. Okay, and now I will say form dot show dialog, and here we go. So you will see a button over here. Of course, the width is a little bit messed up, but you can actually see the button. Okay, it doesn't really do anything, but we can fix that. So I'm just going to go to button dot click do and I can say over here sender and the next one is ARGS which is the arguments and I can say over here message box dot show uh, iron ruby rocks okay and and then I can say form dot show dialog and when I click it, it actually pops up a small window which it says Iron Ruby Rocks or whatever text you, I mean, whatever message box you're actually popping it up. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you can, uh, as you can see, you can interact with the .NET DLS. I'm interacting with system.windows.forms. You can interact with the WPF. You can interact with uh, ADO.NET and some other, I mean, everything you can interact with right now. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I do recommend that you go to highoncoding.com. There are some podcasts. You can subscribe to the podcast. You can subscribe to uh, the articles. And uh, there is a category. If you go down, it's Iron Ruby. If you click on that, it will pull out all the articles. And you can check it out. It's all are very detailed articles. So I hope you like it. 
uh, high on coding is always looking for sponsors so if you are interested in sponsoring these uh, videos I highly recommend that you send me an email at awesomesharp at gmail.com thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this video